Good morning. <clears throat> oh, God, it's a lovely day. It's the 11th of April. Hope everybody is well. Um, good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning, Tom and Belle. Good morning, Jewel. And good morning, Caroline. Um, Caroline's waiting for an operation. Hope that goes well. Good morning, Queenie. How is everybody today? Hope you're all well. Um, as ever, let me know how your cells have been this weekend. Mine are the, the slow, slow as, which is, um, I know most people's are at the moment. If yours are good, then that's great because that is bucking the trend. Uh, I've got 13 going out. I'm going to show you a few bits that I've shown recently on hauls uh, so you can see what I did with them. Um, but let's have a look. Friday was good, £167.50 turnover, Saturday 93, and it just goes down £83.50 yesterday, um, which is meh. Um, yeah, still a bit slow. Hi, Leanne. So, yes, so I've, oh, yeah, so I'll show you the few bits. First of all, sales like pulling teeth. It's really unsatisfactory isn't it i tell you what else oh, so you put you might see my video from saturday i did sell at the boot uh saturday and uh god it is really i mean it was refreshing to clear crap out of the garage in the house but just you know it's like instant isn't it do you want it yeah okay money that's oh, like that's it it's so quick and yeah i really enjoyed that i mean i like chatting to everybody anyway um so I'll definitely, oh, and apparently you all liked it too, the video. So uh, I I will be doing another one. I don't know if it'll be towards the end of the summer. Depends how quickly my fails build up really. <laughs> um, so I'll video a bit again and uh, show you how I did. Yes, so yeah, given how slow things are on eBay and after chatting to you guys last Monday and everybody saying, oh, Queenie, actually, you were really recommending Zip Sale and saying try it, I'm trying it. Um, so I've started with Etsy last week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday or Friday, maybe. I've only been on it a few days, like a couple of days in the weekend, maybe. I have cross-listed about 300 items no sales yet i've watched a video uh a video i've got a video um i watched a video no what was i no i was googling something about etsy and it underneath it said uh how long before you can expect sales on etsy and the answer was two to three months i was like oh my god no wonder i gave up last time really quickly uh but given that they're on now there's about 300 listings on and i i got a i got a code off of george ross when he did his zip sale thing so that i can list as much as i like through zip sale for a month for free to try it um so i'm just paying the 20 cents an item to get it onto etsy but yeah i mean i will leave how many i put on there for the few months and if I if it's not producing sales, then I won't continue with it because it's just another ball ache in the air, isn't it? So so fingers crossed for that. Then I thought, well, that'll be enough for now. But then last night, yeah, getting hacked off with uh, slow sales. I'm like, F it. I'm going to, I mean, I haven't even ever sold on Vinted. I'm going to cross this to Vinted as well. So I've just started that. And I've got 70 odd bits on there now, like using the zip cell, it's quite quick. And I it, I feel like I can see the interest a lot quicker on there than Etsy. I'm getting uh, people are favoriting the items and I had a message. So, but I don't know how everything works yet. So I have found on Etsy that you can set up an automatic of people favorite your items or put it in the no is it put it in their basket something you can send yeah favorite your items or put it in the basket you can send out an offer so i've set that up like oh here's 10 percent off or something so that's automatic then 
and I don't know how if you can send an offer directly if they favorited your item or not. So I'm still learning it. And Binted, so somebody sent me a message about something and then I could see I could send them an offer. So I sent them an offer. I don't know. Uh, and I've also set up on Vintage, you can um, set up, you know, a discount if they buy two items or three items or so I've set that up as well. So it seems quite simple and straightforward, they're vintage. And like with the no fees for sellers, I am keeping my fingers crossed that that will be, well, both of them would be a goer because eBay just pisses me off a lot. But it is the worldwide marketplace. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. Oh, I don't think I'm here next Monday. I'll put a little note on the community bit if I'm not. I might not be here next Monday. I think we're in Torquay. Yes, so not a lot to report apart from I've done it. I'm, I've gone in. Hi, Rebecca. Um, <clears throat> Caroline, is it quite easy to cross this if items already listed on it? Yes, it is. The only thing I struggled with was trying to bulk import everything via a CSV file into Excel. And I don't know if it's to do with our, our computers really old, um, like the version of Excel we've got or what, but they even got Tom on it. I was like, what's going on with this sheet? Why wouldn't it import? And with some problems, I was like, F it, I can't bother with this. So I'm literally just importing 30 at a time. You can import from eBay the last 30 listings that went live. Um, so I'm just importing 30 and then picking which ones I want to cross list. What have I found of the issue? Etsy, uh, no, some of them you can just bang list and they go. Some of them don't seem to pull through all of the listing uh, details. So you have to, I'm finding with Vinted this morning, I have to go in, it doesn't seem to like jewellery straight off. I've got to go in and pick all the categories for it to take it. So I'm having to sort of do it individually, but it's not because your photos are all there and your descriptions are all there. Condition box doesn't come over. Etsy, so you need to bear that in mind if you've got stuff in there. Um, but yes, I'd say essentially overall, it, it, yeah, it's a lot quicker than trying to cross list it, you know, without a listing tool. Uh, good morning, Bills and Moon. So, uh, yeah, a few bits that are going up that a couple bits I showed you last week or week before. The two lots of football boots that I had, one went for a tenner straight away, um, and it's plus ship. I pay 50p each for the pair, so a tenner plus ship, like, within a day or something. These, uh, what were these again? Nike, oh, Predators. Now, they're in a right shocking condition because they are, like, peeling, like, there. So I put in the condition box peeling and put my finger in a photo, like pointing to peeling. And I put them on auction and they went for, and they paid, so I paid 50p and oh, they went for £17 plus shipping, so I can't complain. Hopefully they saw my finger pointing at peeling and read that. Um, yeah, so... I think it was one of those days where I sold 50p, I'll just try it. I'm quite happy trying things if it's cheap as chips because, y yeah, you're not losing a lot of money. Once you've got a lot of money invested in something, you feel like, oh, I've got to get all that money back first, and it's harder. Um, I showed you this little cassette case, take cassette case, which I bought for £1.50 and it had all cassettes in it. I've got those separate to bundle. And this has gone for 12.50 plus ship. So that's cool. Quite quickly as well. And then I just want to show you some of these bits I think I showed you last week that are going out. But also, this is all, you know, gone within a week or two, so it's absolutely fine. Um, hello, Joan. Hello, Crispy. <clears throat> Pretty voice. So I have decided. I might have mentioned this last week. You know how often you get things, you go to list it and you think it's okay and then you find a hole, or I do anyway, or a mark. And like, if it's a good brand, I'm listing it, declaring it and just getting the money back and making a couple of quid, but 
I can't just keep tossing everything. Um, this isn't a, but I, I, you'll see why I just said that. And um, this is the Woolovers tank, which went for, so this owed me a quid and it went for 18 pounds per ship. Can't go wrong. I think it's lamb's wool or something. So, yeah, I, these bits I showed you last week, I believe. So fat base, an early thick cotton top. And I, I hadn't spotted it in the chaser, but it had marks down the front. Uh, you can see that bleachy one. That's my fault, trying to get the marks out. And then another one there. So I'm like, oh, for crying out loud, I probably paid four or five pounds or something for it. So I'm like, no, just get the money back and a couple of quid. It's just gone for a ten plus ship, like like that. I mean, I maybe I could have got a little bit more even, but that's fine with me. I've got my money back. I, I don't really like selling stuff for defects, but if I'm going to get my money back, a couple of quid, that's great. Um, move on and and check better next time, basically. Um, yeah, a couple more bits. So I have those three Oscar Jacobson golf tops, which all together I got for £12 because a couple have marks on. I was going to try and get them out. They didn't come out. Um, so one is still listed. And then this one, this one went for, so declaring the marks. I mean, they are faint. There's an air attached to that. That's not mine. Be one of the girls. Um, yes, yeah, so I tried washing them out, but they're really faint anyway. However, got fifteen pounds per ship back on that, so not a bad brand to look out for. I'd say if you can sell it for fifteen plus ship with a with a fault. This one was all good. This one also went quickly for thirty pounds plus ship. And then I've got one more listed for £20 plus ship. So for my 12 quid, I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, that's all the bits I think I wanted to show you. Like, just to so show you some of the bits going out. Then, right, let's just check. Queenie, they're still working on some categories for zips out. Oh, okay. Originally, it was... Sorry. <laughs> Originally, it was predominantly for clothing, so still a work in progress. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yes, check your listings on Etsy. Yes, check your listings. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so... So, I was selling at the boot Saturday. I managed to get a few bits. And then yesterday I went to a small boot that's quite local and then a bigger one at the A4. So I've got some bits from that and then I've got a couple of bits from Chazza, a local Chazza. Last week I just thought I'd show you. Um, I've got a load of big bras called Doreen. Now, go ahead. I paid three ninety nine a pop for these. I think they're quite bralette type thing, aren't they? Quite vintage looking. And they had labels on from uh, Jackson's, which Jackson's Corner was a big department store in, in Reading. Um, sold like school uniform and stuff, but I kind of thought, give it a go. And it's the same listing, and I've got seven of them. And then uh, I was quite pleased to find this. I've been checking, as I said, ties, scarves, all that malarkey. <clears throat> and uh sorry <clears throat> and this unassuming little thing they had quite a few nice ties in oxfam but some of them were absolutely buggered around the bottom so there's no point <clears throat> caroline asked which boot uh no it was taplo was that yesterday um 100 silk do you recognize that brand? $1.99 I paid. It is Hermes. There we go. Um, I've put it on for quite a high price, but I imagine about £30 back on that. I've stuck it on for about 50 at the moment, but you never know. Yeah, probably about 30 but one ninety nine to 30 in the large letters. Can't go wrong with that, can you? So 
I was quite pleased. I was quite well. I was quite excitable actually to find that. <laughs> I also ended up buying a uh, which are somewhere else a, a Liberty. I like a Liberty and oh, I can't remember. Not Dior. There was another one, but Givenchy. I don't know something. No, there's not all that, but I'll probably force myself to list them at some point. Um, were you at Tap Pro, Caroline? So, a few bits that I got from, I spent a tenner at the boot that I was selling at, and I kind of had a quick look around before I set up, and then towards the end, when there wasn't much doing, I just chucked the plane bill in the back of the car and left everything else out and went for a wonder. So I got another one of these IKEA huge uh, candle holder things for three pounds paid for this one, two for last week. Um, and then from the same people, I got this for two. <laughs> nice Harris Tweed um, hip flask, which, to be honest, I might keep for me. I think that might be quite useful to put flavoured gin in for the festivals. Then I got, oh, this is a bit different. This is after listening to Pound Girl. I bought a, it feels like a tea towel, but it's a towel, I think. I think everything was smaller back in the day. A little Mickey Mouse, well, towel. Colours are quite nice. Um, I don't think it's going on for much. I think I'll, I'll put it on 15 and, you know, try and get 10 plus shit. And I got, oh, love this. Absolutely love it. Monsoon Twilight. This was actually only a pound. Little, I love, I just love this kind of shape, little wedding jackets to go. I just think with plain black underneath or whatever people want to wear. Oh, it's kind of golden as well. Oh, is this, it's like waving, is this jacquard? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, very nice. Uh, in fact, I think I'll, I'll stick that on for about 25 or 30, to be honest. See how that goes. I must do some listing today. I bought some belts. Um, oh, too much, too painful at the moment, Caroline. On your list to go. Yeah, it's. I think it's very close to slough. And I did get some, I did get some bits actually. It's not bad, it's not bad, it's just it's a bit of a trip for me. But the one I was going to go to wasn't on because the ground was too muddy, uh, cloggy or whatever it is. So what have I got? Oh, I've got hobs. I've got two hobs. Um, I think I'll, with the hobs, I'll try 20 quid, you know, and aim to get, I think these were like 50p each, and aim to get um, 12 to 15 if I can, plus shit. Leather belts, which is the other hops one. Oh, this is the other hops. What's cut? Is it? Oh, you're the other hops. Oh, yes, you are. Medium. But I mean, I would have gone for a nice wide belt anyway, but hops is the brand to have picked up. So, yeah, try that. And hopefully, in a couple of weeks, I'll be showing you they've sold. This is not branded. Oh, units, it says on it. I don't know what that is. But wow, look at that. Just thought that was funky, that purple. I mean, that, oh, wow. What's that kind of? Um, what am I thinking? Baroque style, is that? Very nice. Love that one. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that. And then this is a bit like a, a pirate belt. Is it leather? It's not stamped. Don't know anyway, but yeah, thought that would, that's kind of a nice wide belt to pick up. Then I picked up for four pounds uh, a lot of jewellery that was just all shoved in a box. And she said, you can have that four quid if you like. I was like, yeah, okay, some of it's broken. That lot. I thought, oh yeah, fancy a rummage through, don't get many job lots these days. There's some, you know, clip-on earrings in it, um, a few sellable bits, but of note, there's a 95 stamped, like, silver charm bracelet, which needs testing because anybody can stamp something 95 these days. 
but uh, that's nice if it's silver. Um, and these do look like gold, a pair of earrings. These look are like three color gold, like in the kind of 90s, noughties. People were wearing this three color gold, weren't they? It looks like gold, needs testing. There is a nine, uh, 375 stamped like, back on it, only one back, but yeah, so I'll test that. So I did all right, really, for my four quid. Oh, shit. Sorry, I dropped the earring. Right. So that was the boot that I was selling at. Then, how are we doing on time? 10.22, that's right. Yeah, so at Wood, uh, yeah, Woodalls and Taplow, I've got a few bits. So, yeah, I should be able to show you all of this. If you're interested, as I forget at the end, give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this, or even if you're not. So I saw, I bought, bought a few bits from Graham and Sarah. Hello, if you're watching. I did go a bit crazy on knitwear. So some stuff is going to be to put away. And I've got some stuff that I can list immediately, which is a bit more seasonal. Um, right, I'm going to get from Graham and Sarah. Which I think was Sarah's bits. Uh, Marks and Sparks with cashmere, like a cotagon type thing. Really long. I was like, oh, I'd wear this if I, but I'm so small. And I was like, yeah, Sarah's, <laughs> Sarah's a lot taller than you. I was like, oh, well, I like that anyway. Like a big chunky neck. Everybody's going to like a big chunky neck on the winter, aren't they? Another one. Is this, oh, this is monsoon. Look at the texture on that. Love it. And it's got a toggle too, which I also love. Really nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm down the arms. Lovely. And also picked up this. What was this? Laura Ashley. Is this... I think it's merino, but it's, is this like boiled wool when it feels kind of like bizarrely rough? It's, um, yeah, a little waistcoat thing, which I quite like picking up. Don't take up too much room. Bills and Moon, is it best to schedule listings throughout the day or just put them all on at the same time? Uh, I, I don't, no one knows for sure. Um, some people would say, oh yeah, spread them out. Some people would say, um, you know, put them on when you, the eyes are mostly going to be on your stuff. So in the UK, you know, it would be the evenings, weekends. However, I also get a flurry of watches and stuff at lunch times. And of course, people in America or whatever will be looking at your listings at different times. So I don't, a lot of people say consistent listing every day. I've tried that. And to be honest, my sales aren't any better or worse than when I was listing consistently. So no one really knows the answer, I'm afraid. So, oh yeah, I've got some more. I don't know what it is. I haven't even sold any of my stockings yet. I've got tights this time, vintage tights. Got this lot for four pounds. So some St. Michael's, but some pretty poly. Um, Christian Dior. And Walford, oh, with Harrods stickers on, Harrods labels they were bought from. And this, that's also got a Harrods stick on it. So give those a go. Don't know how much for yet or if I'm going to bundle or what. Now, yeah, start the fails. Well, this is a weird one because it's only a pound. But, oh, yeah, so altogether, what did I spend at this boot? I think I spent... All together at the Sunday boot, seventy-one pounds or seventy-four, seventy something pounds, and I think it worked out. If I, I've already taken out. Oh yeah, I've got a load of like athleisure. What? No, what is that? Nike dry fit and stuff. I'll show you that, but um, I haven't included that in this because I think it's just going to be. I'm going to offer it to the girls. I might want some of it first. Anyway, yeah, really liked this Cardi. 
the woman looking at it like very carefully and she left it and I was like oh great well now I know why she's left it so it's got an hole in it however um it's such a good brand if it didn't have the hole it would be 50 or 60 pounds where are you mother And show you how big the owl is. Oh, there's a bit of an issue there, which I haven't seen. Yeah, she carefully, she's obviously used to checking for holes. She was having a really good on there. She was having a really good look. Yeah, 50 to 60 pounds, but it's Ivor Knight hand frame knitwear made in Scotland. So honestly, oh god, is that another one? Oh, no, I think it's too buggered. It's too buggered. Look, I was going to list it anyway. Like, I thought there was only one hole at, like, 20, so. But, no, I think there's too many. That's a shame. So, that's a big, fat fail. Another big, fat fail is this Peter Hahn. I thought it was quite large and looked linen, but it's kind of ripped inside. Not that side. Uh, there, bit ripped. Yeah, so big fat fail. However, I paid one pound fifty for that in a cashmere jumper. So <laughs> not too bad. And I paid fifty p for this uh, because it. I thought, oh yeah, nice Scottish wool by Kilspindy, and it's you know, uh, I like this kind of old man country look. Very heavy. But it has got a hole. So luckily it was 50p. It's got an hole as well. This is the trouble with this knitwear. So many holes. Even when you have a quick look. See, because I can't see it now, you see. Oh, it's the bane of my life. Well, anyway, trust me, it's got an hole. So, however, yeah, I'll quickly show you this stuff that might be for me all the girls oh good morning z good morning julie crispy i've had two sales since you've been on and i've not listed since thursday all right f off <laughs> um owls always become obvious once you get them home yeah i was like quite yeah it's just unbelievable isn't it well some have even spotted out so it's not even yeah anyway yeah so i picked up so i think if I don't, if if we don't end up keeping these for either me or the girls, then I'll either list it or just take it to my next car boot. So this is, she said it was a thermal layer because she said, oh, do you go, I said, oh yeah, whiskey. So Odlo, I think, I think I've heard of that brand. Um, and I looked it up and I think these go for about 20 quid and I've got these for a pound each. I've got two of those. I've got a, an A6 uh, windbreaker thing. Um, yeah, small these, so definitely me or the girls might, if not, yeah, I can plug them. Uh, kind of a matching A6 duotech. What is that for? Is that for running? I have no idea, fit the things. But a pound each, I just got, oh yeah, I thought, oh yeah, Nike dry fit. Um, sort of crop legging things. I don't know what they're for. Cycling, running, fit things. Craft. Don't know what that is. And it's got the label cut out. Longer ones. I like the reflective stripes there because it's really dark around here. And if you're walking back from somewhere, it's quite good when it's in the winter that cars can actually see you on an A6 pound each. I thought either way, it's either going to be useful or I'll get my money back. Um, right, I've got two pots here and some more. I have actually got some winners in this lot, don't worry. <laughs> um, well, a few of the jumpers I'm going to show you would pay for the whole lot anyway. So, what should we go for? Let's go for some knits that are going to get put away. Oh, see, another semi fail. <laughs> so many fails. Windsor London, I thought, oh, that's a good brand. It is a good brand. But 
and I paid three pounds for this. I do like the style of it, but it's merino wool. It's not, I've sold a cashmere one, uh, cashmere cardi, and it flew out for good money. Merino, probably not so much. Um, I thought it was another hole. But the style, it's a good brand. I'll list that in the winter. This one is Massimo Duty, which I know it's a good brand, but I don't think it sells all that well these days. However, it's alpaca. It says alpaca wool. I wonder if that's 100% alpaca. Oh, God, it's one of those huge labels. A million languages on it. Oh, it's a third alpaca, a third wool, and a third nylon. Um, I haven't discovered any owls, but ooh, can you see the nice turquoise colour? kind of I bought a few bits from this lady and paid I can't remember I think she charged me like three quid for this and it's not the size is it meant to be extra small and it's big it's really boxy so I'm like great for a change something isn't shrunk so actually I think about 30 quid possibly back on that it's quite nice Oh god, this guy. Yes, but if I average everything out, it's a couple of quid, a couple of quid per piece. But in the morning, uh, there's a guy that has a lot of, you know, you know, the boxes that he's got from auction or whatever with rummagey stuff, and then piles in a little uh, a little clothing mountain, which I was like, oh, you know, twenty p each. <laughs> I'm in there like a ferret. <laughs> I love it when it says twenty p each, fifty p each. Like, I'm in there rummaging. Um, I don't know what, what is it in my nature that likes it. a lot of some people are like, no, I'm not going down there. I want it on a hanger and I want to, I'm like, no, I'm in I'm in the pit. Um uh, right, okay. <laughs> anyway, come on. <gasps> Hand knit. Absolutely love this. Has it got any holes? I don't think it's got any holes. And this, you know, after the stuff that I bought and it had holes, I don't think this has got any holes, and it was 20p, and I love it. I think if I could wear wool, I'd be in that. I think it's so lovely. Um, yeah. It's got to be 20, 25 pounds plus ship that come the winter. Um, oh, this is another bit from Sarah and Graham. Little waistcoat, quite tweedy. Uh, quite like, oh, I might put that on in my, put that in my summer pile, actually. I don't think the brand's anything, TFNC, but I did look up, actually. Oh, let's get my drafts up. I think I was going to put it on for about 12, but take 10. Um, yeah. Very nice. Uh, where's my summer pile? Put that there so that gets listed. Um, Jill, I'm watching you at the park with my minded kids. You usually only have them term time, but before and after school, but during an extra full day today. <laughs> Hello, kids. <laughs> um, so, yeah, some people cannot help the rummage boxes. <laughs> you never know what you might do. Yeah, it's the idea. It's like digging for treasure. It's just... And then when you find something, you find treasure, this is a buzz, isn't it? Um, hey, Sam. I can't... <laughs> okay, I can't be doing with it all on the floor, but good on you, Shell. You probably get some bargains. Yeah, I'm literally attracted to it. I'm li so the the monsoon twilight. Um, it was a guy that was almost opposite me where I was selling or behind me. Um, a house clearance guy, and you know everything's lobbed out. And it was you know midway through the day, and I thought, oh, I probably won't be anything over there now. But you just never know what people are looking for because there's that for a quid monsoon twilight gorgeous jacket, no missing buttons, no holes. Bob's your uncle. Um, Julia went to a jumble last week. First time I've seen one near me. Everything 20 pence. Isn't it ace? Because you just like, oh, I'm just like a little animal. When <laughs> it's like, I'm just, yes, yes. Like, can't go wrong, can you? Um, Jewel, I might use the excuse of looking for some toys to go to a charity shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why not? Um, so, yeah, moving on. So the lady that I got the Massimo Duty from, I think I've 
got three bits from her, but I don't know what the other bits. Well, this was one anyway. Uh, Comptoir de Cotonier. Little downfield. Tempted by this actually because it's so thin, you could really roll it up and just stick it in your bag, but it's really warm. Um, tempted to have that for me. What did I? I did research it, I think, though. Um, I think it might have been all right money. Ooh. And I have got a shitload of coats. Oh, 30 quid come the winter plus ship. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the winter pile anyway for now. Um, yeah, I think I paid like four pounds for that. This was part of that with the fail. Um, can't remember. One of the fails that I paid pound fifty with this. And it's just lamb's end, but it's 100% cashmere. And there's no shrinkage. It's actually not shrunk. It's lovely. It needs a slight bobble. There's actually, I haven't found any stones, no holes. It's, oh, it's got side pockets which is unbelievable because one of my things now is stop picking up white clothes because they've always got stains. Um, it's so, it's soft, it's soft, it's just lovely. I think somebody hasn't dared wash it because it's 100% cashmere. So yeah, so, um, you know, I'll probably put that on for 30 quid. Unbelievable. And she actually, she took the stuff to look at it and she, so she looked, I thought, oh, she'll see it's cashmere now and she'll get out. She went this and the other thing. Um... 50p for that, one pound for this. <laughs> yeah, about that, yes, yes. Now let me run away. <laughs> um, Caroline, people can get a bit aggressive at jumbles. Yeah, there is a bit old bows. Um, I've had people <laughs> feel sorry for me before and tried to get me in because this into the scrum because I was like, oh, I've had I'll get Jack and I up, and they've gone, come here, <laughs> just pulled me in. Um, did I think this was a fail? I don't know. Elgi of London, made in England. Uh, very nice motto. I think this kind of, uh, it's not boot play, it's more tweedy, but that kind of style, I think, is in at the moment. So, anyway, it's going in my winter pile. I don't think it's worth that much, Elgi, but... I was like, Algae, doesn't it? Look, it was made in England. I'm just like, oh, it's quite. So I'll try and get £15 for it. Right, let's wheel you out of the way. Now, the stuff that. All right, let's go to this. is the stuff that I'll list now. And then oh, I'll show you some bangers that I feel are bangers. Bangerish. Triple Uh Right, so yeah, again, I. I picking up some so oh yeah people that know this stuff will probably recognize this is this the one oh yeah recognize that little oh it's not a lobster is it what is it uh uh, uh not tarantula i can't remember the name you know what that is um anyway it's got a fault and the guy did declare it and i bought some stuff from him last week he seems to have some good stuff and i thought even though it's got a, a fault I'm still picking it up because he gave it to me for a quid. It's Castelli. And I had one of these once and it sold really well. So I'm like, well, I think I can still get a bit of money, like cycling zip up thing. And the fault was that it's got a pull. It's like, mate, I'm used to buying stuff with the fault and it's not declared. Um, is that it? It's like nothing really. It's just like a pull. Yeah, a pull. So I thought I'd quit. Nice brand, still worth picking up. I'm sure that should I look that up? I thought I might still be able to list it for. Mm, still gonna put on, on for 20 quid because of the brand. Scorpion, yes, thank you. I can just get a block with that. Um, I have no idea. This is an Adidas top. No idea, but what is that? I oh no, was it Nike? No, it was a Nike fleece that's getting a lot of interest that I picked up for 20p. Um, I don't know. Anybody know? I don't know what this is meant to be. MPS Mass Premier Soccer. Oh, it says Climber Warm. I thought, is that good? It's cheap. I don't know. It's got to be some money in it. Um, this one is Nike Pro Combat. 
looks like that. What is this? It feels very thermally. Oh, it's a golf. I'm getting quite into the golfy things. Night golf, dry fits. I've heard people talking about dry fits. So um, it's got to be. Did I look this one up? There's a dry fit. I think maybe 20 quid. But yeah, so I mean, if we can get 18, that'd be. If we can get 15, I'd be happy. Um, oh, Blue Willies. I don't know who I was watching, who's Hall or something out of Blue Willie. Um, set look down everybody in the chat um, and they were saying about it's got again cream but it was cheap blue willies on the buttons I think that's usually a good sign body warmer I think it may be oh, I think it's like a Danish brand yes made in Denmark and again I think it's one of those things that might be sold better in other countries but it was quite cheap and it's got blue willy and it's a body warmer thing i think people are into body well they're gonna be aren't they so i don't know what was i thinking on this i've done any research on this one yet yes i have and i'm thinking i oh, just like 15 quid i think it was like 50p or something you know but even if you know if i'm allocating two pound odd to everything if you can get it on 15, you know, you're going to get 10 back plus shit. Up to about three quid. <laughs> I was going to say crayfish. I wanted to say prawn. <laughs> That's even worse than me. <laughs> Is it a prawn? No. <laughs> it didn't make sense. Is it a prawn? No. <laughs> oh, got alive. Um, oh, I think this was a uh, semi fail as well. Idris Elba and Superdriver. I like Idris Elba as well. To pick it up, uh, got it for a quid, um, and I think yeah, ten to twelve pounds maybe back on it. Plus it, nice big size there. But Idris Elba, to pick it up and uh, Oh, this is a random one. You might be like, oh god, oh god. it's but it's a hundred percent silk. Clearly eighties, quite large size. I think the neck is a bit, a bit worn. A little bit. Um, but it, the brand, somebody again was, I'm so easily led. I'm like, someone was talking about that brand the other day. I've no idea who it is, but I'm going to get it. So I paid three pounds. It's silk, it's vintage, it's Diana Fraze. Um, and again, it might be something that's sold a bit better somewhere else. I think I thought I'd put it on for 20 quid. Again, three, even if we can get 15, you know, jobs are good. Um. <clears throat> right, more stuff that I'm going to... Oh, this was, this was from a 20p man. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm not having you. It's a tabard in a lovely green colour. It's a cleaning lady, dinner lady tabard. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to put you on it. I'm going to put this on at 20 pounds. <laughs> I'll update you on that. Um, oh, I think this is another one of those things, a bit like the Idris Elba, that's not as good as you hope. It's Morris and Co. collab for H&M. Um, quite nice size, though. Oh, it's a small, but it must be quite boxy. I quite like that print. Oh, in fact, I found out what the print was called as well. It is called Oh, did I? Oh, it's right at the top. It's called Bow Pattern. And I am going to put it on for, oh, am I? I'm going to put it on for 20. Okay, it's better than I thought. Um, but, you know, maybe if I can get 15, that would be cool. Not... Um, yeah, a couple more bits from that listing now business. Charlie, do you watch Charlie Peep to find out about clothing brands? He knows his stuff and it's funny to you. Yeah, I, I've been following Charlie Peep before he was on YouTube. Um, yeah, he's a nice guy to watch anyway. 
wonder if Castell Castelli might have been from him originally. A long time back, when I was selling clothing previously, somebody said Castelli. I saw it, picked it up, and it sold immediately. Um, so that is a, that's a couple of years back. Yes, like Chatty Pete. And right, so this is a brand, and I've got quite a few bits of it, and I'm fairly chuffed. It's it's reasonable. Um, and this is a brand I hear somebody in America talking about a lot. And I don't know if it's Nicole State or or Chris, Chris Daily Refinement. Um, oh, oh I, I was, do you know what? I really like finding a collar stiffener. Just really do. Does it for me, collar stiffeners. Um, each to their own. Untuck it, as you will have seen from that. Who talks about untuck it all the freaking time? Um, and uh, yeah, the lady that I bought, I bought all the um, dry fit and stuff, dry fit and stuff, you know, all that stuff from her as well. And it was right near the end. And she said, oh, she said, oh, my husband buys all that stuff. So I don't, I know it's designer, but I don't really know what it is. And um, I was like, oh, okay. I'm just having a look through it. I was just drawn over by a jumper. And then she's going, uh, you know, I was asking four, but I can do three. In fact, the lowest I can go is two. <laughs> I'm still just having a look through. So uh got, yeah, she told me most. So the dry fit stuff and that was all like pound each. And then she did, I think there was something she said, oh, I need three for that. And then everything else was two pounds. This untuck it stuff was, I was happy as Larry. Um, and nice sizes as well, like large and extra large. All of this is a large. Yeah, nice shirt, in good condition. And... Um, am I going to list it up? Because I've also got jumpers in this brand from her. Yeah, well, 20 quid, but I feel like it should be an easy ish sale and it's a nice, good condition shirt. What, well, in fact, to be honest, three inch 20, you can't really go wrong, can you? It must be like 15 quid back. Um, then oh, I don't know who I got this from. It's love. I wish it wasn't brown because I would have it then. Maybe it's a good thing. It's uh, again, I've heard somebody talking about this, and I've no idea who. It's Nakatano. Probably just murdered that. Um, but it's um, it's got. I, mean, I just love all of this. I don't know what it is. Oh, was it a hood? Is it a hood? Oh, is it a hood that you can cover your face with? I don't know. There's a lot of ropeage going on and hoody thickness. I like it. I like it. Anyway, I think it was from the lady that I got the comptoir from. Um, uh, I've looked this up. I know. Right, found it. It's a woman's. Oh, I'm going to put that on for 30 quid. Sometimes I'm finding prices out and I'm saying, and I just make a note, but it might be that I'm aiming for 25. So don't entirely rely on that price that I'm saying, but it was still on for 30 plus shipping anyway. So yeah, nice. Look at that now. That's how you probably some get. Now it's naked, I don't know. Um, yeah. Then a few more bits from the same lady. Yeah, 10 minutes till it oi oi Peter's on. Yeah, just, and she goes, oh, here's another one. Like, yeah, okay, because after I decided I would pick up the Untuck It stuff, this is Untuck It Extra Large Merino Wool. No holes. Lovely condition, all this stuff. Lovely. And I'm going to stick each of these on at 30 quid. So, you know, if I can sell these jumpers, that pays for the entire day. Uh, this, yeah, all Untuck It. I mean, come on. Lamb's Wool, this one. But yeah, all good sizes, all good condition. And it's, um, I think these are becoming quite popular again, these shawl necks. Yeah, so happy as Larry. I mean, when I put this away for my Q4 and I'm gonna be happy opening these Q4 boxes and untuck it merino wool. Um, this is another merino down here, I think. Yeah, 100% merino. Yeah, I mean, God, when he shops, this guy, he's like, oh, I like that. I love it in every colour, but that's a bit. Um, oh, this is an heavy one. Oh, it's two of them, that's why. <laughs> Another nice mottled. 
yeah, lamb's wool, extra large. He does, he literally buys. So I've got two of those shore necks, I've got two, three in the two shore necks, three merino wools, and and a cashmere. I mean, he's got good taste 100% cashmere, nice little cable knit, no holes in good condition. You see, I mean, those are all on the floor. These are all 30 quid each. You know, even when she was asking three or four. And, yeah, they're on the floor. But, you know, people, half the place have packed up and gone home and no resellers have picked these up. And maybe I'll find them hard to sell now. But even just from the content and the size of them, I think they would sell. But apart, but that's a nice brand. So, yeah. I mean, I imagine she seemed like somebody was doing it as a one-off, really. But the other guy that I got the Castelli and some other bits from, he seems to be there every week. So if I do fancy a trip up there, I'll look out for him and I'll buy, I'll spend as much as I can with him. You get to know, don't you, who who's worth spending with. Yeah, I don't, I think quite a few fails, I admit. But, you know, that's the thing as well. And you do need to get around and you do need to be making quick decisions. So if it's not too expensive, it's worth the fails because, yeah, I'd say three or four of those jumpers, I'm into profit. Yeah. Um, yeah, happy with that. Um, yeah, I think go and get tea ready for Pete now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to carry on carry on with the cross listing i can say something else then um god it's all a bit hard going at the moment it's like god i'm not going now there's three platforms for me to not get sales on uh but yes I've got to try it I don't, i'd love to take some business away from ebay to be honest because i don't know what the hell's going on behind the scenes but i just don't feel this is natural um yeah i watched a little bit of nick and andrew and nick was saying they might be heading for a zero sales day i know they haven't been listing but still if you've got x amount of listings up you should still be getting some interest i've got an offer to send out would be shit um thanks for chats you're welcome yeah that's gonna get a couple thank you all for joining me uh yeah give me a thumbs up if you'd like and uh I'll be on Insta in the week. Uh, bye bye, don't die.